Mm, awesome, really. Okay, I printed and uh, assembled the two pieces of the torque wrench there. And uh, hopefully I got that right. Uh, now I'll uh, see if this works. Okay, time for the cold pull. So here's how I do this. <clears throat> um, you can read about it on the internet. It's a pretty simple idea. The basic idea is um, <clears throat> we're gonna get, this is cold. We're gonna heat it up just enough for this filament to come out. And when it comes out, it's gonna pull out all the plastic that's in there with it. Um, so the first thing you have to do with the Prusa is you have to loosen this tension spring for the uh, filament, uh, the little gear that winds the filament through. You gotta loosen that up because you don't want that holding on to the filament preventing you from pulling that. I usually just take this thing completely out like that. I take the whole screw out and that way this thing is just completely loose. And that way that filament is just in there. Now the only thing holding the filament in <coughs> is the fact that it's uh, solidified inside the hot end. Uh, so at this point we can go ahead and get ready to heat this thing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to preheat. I'm going to select PLA. Uh, it won't have to get nearly that hot. And I'm going to start pulling on this. Hopefully you can see that when I get the camera. I will hear you. Yeah. So you can. I'm going to start pulling up on this while I'm while I heat it up, and I'm going to continue to pull on it while it's heating up until it comes out. So here we go. Okay, it's heating up now. I'm pulling on it. Um, it's not moving, but it's heating up really fast. We're at 42 degrees, 50 degrees. I'm just pulling up slightly. I'm not pulling up super hard. 60 degrees, 70 degrees. There it goes. It's starting to move. 80 degrees, 88 degrees, 90. There we go. And it comes out. That should be it. And you can see there's a big glob of, uh, hopefully you can see that it's focusing. Yeah, there's a big glob there on the end. All the plastic it took out, it's kind of got the basic shape of the inside of the hot end. And that's kind of how you know you got it all out. So now we're clean. Um, we're gonna go ahead and let it heat up because uh, we have to, uh, so we have to move this up. Bit. And uh, I want to just clean this off a little bit more. We've got some more. Okay, I think that's pretty clean looking. All right, we're up to 200 and uh, some degrees. We're going to go ahead and uh, go to settings, temperature, nozzle. I want to set the nozzle to 270 degrees, 275 even. I'll go ahead and set the bed down to zero. So I don't need the bed on. <clears throat> Bed's on because it preheated. That's okay. Alright, we're good to bang. And we're gonna wait and let this heat up a little bit. <clears throat> we want this good and hot because uh, you don't want any plastic in the way of threading this uh, nozzle on and off. So if you want that all out of the way also. All right, we can go ahead and take this off. This is the next thing. So we need to take the screw out. This screw comes out. It takes this fan out of the way. And this little shroud right here. We need to get him out of the way. So this screw right here is the only one that holds him in. So this third screw here. Okay, now we have complete access to the hot end. I need to get my spanner here. And I just use a little adjustable wrench to hold the hot end in place. I do this, so I should be able to just use this wrench <coughs> that I printed out <coughs> and loosen that up. So let's give it a try. We're at 270 degrees now. Very carefully put this on and uh, see if I can 
and get this one here. Yep, no problem. Comes right off. Don't touch it with your fingers because it's really, really hot, obviously. Okay, now we get the ruby out. Let's get the ruby down in here. Oh boy, he barely sticks out of there, doesn't he? Hopefully that'll be able to get him through it in here. Threaded. And there it goes. Much better. Alright, we'll thread him on there. Oh, should have held this in place. Well, it's not a good idea. Okay, that's good enough. You can hear this thing clicking. That means we've hit the required torque. Um, it looks like it's in there pretty good. So let's reassemble everything. We can go ahead and cool it down now. Careful not to get our fingers in there while we're doing this because it's still very hot. See how easy that was? We're all done. Now we'll have to want to uh, do another calibration. So I'll, I'll probably do a Z axis calibration just in case. And then uh, I'll also do a first layer calibration and check my uh, first layer height uh, Z adjustment, Y Z adjustment. Um, also, I have to put this back on to hold the filament tension tension on the uh, filament gear. So we'll get that in while I'm thinking about it. And I just tighten this down until it engages and then give it a few turns to make sure it's uh, got some tension on the spring. There we go. You can check it with uh, your tool if you can get it in there. got some tension on it. Okay, should be good to go. I'll give her a test here in a moment.